Hey everybody, this is Dan from SoCal Creature. In this episode, we're gonna be checking out a short hike at Caroline Park in Redlands, California. And we're gonna be doing it during California Native Plant Week. That's right, the third week of April was designated California Native Plant Week by the California Legislature in 2010. Happy California Native Plant Week, everybody. Carolyn Park is a great place to check out California's native plants because for the most part it's been preserved in its natural state and it's a good example of a coastal sage scrub habitat. The park is 16.8 acres and the loop trail around it is just under a mile. And it's an easy hike. We see strollers out there all the time. The park was donated to the city in 1929 by Olivia Phelps Stokes. Olivia and her sister Carolyn were heirs to a family fortune from the Phelps Dodge Mining Company. The two sisters spent much of their lives traveling extensively throughout the United States and giving a lot of that money away. The two were well known for their philanthropy. Olivia and Carolyn donated significant sums to charitable projects throughout the country, including two Redlands landmarks, Redlands University and the A.K. Smiley Library. The two loved visiting the Redlands area and even briefly occupied the Kimberly Crest Mansion. Eventually, they built themselves their own cozy little winter home, the 18-room Mediterranean-style villa known as the Phelps Stokes Estate, which is still there today at the northwest corner of the park. So the land that makes up Carolyn Park today was essentially their backyard until Carolyn died in the Redlands home and her sister Olivia donated it to the city. It was Olivia who named the park in her sister's honor and stipulated that it be left in its natural state. See those mountain lions here? I want to see one. It's a great place to see a spring bloom, and it's also just a few minutes from downtown Redlands. It also doesn't get as crowded as some other Redlands parks like Prospect Park. There's a small parking lot at the south end of the park on Sunset Drive, or you can park in the residential streets at the north end of the park. There are no facilities on site, so make sure you bring your own water and go to the bathroom before you show up. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the video description for more information and links. You can follow me on the socials for tons of still photos from all over Southern California. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe, like, or leave a comment.